Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. I uh, hope your funds are safe because, I mean, if you guys have been paying attention to the past couple of days, FTX is currently bankrupt. Uh, they have no liquidity and their users uh, around the world cannot withdraw their capital from FTX. And just one hour ago, cryptocurrency giant Binance walks away from the bailout. Incredible stuff. Um, you know, we had hope that Binance, you know, in particular CZ would uh, bail out FTX and uh, provide liquidity, right? So that its users can withdraw their capital. But unfortunately, that is no longer happening. It was clear that they had mishandled customer funds and now there's US agency investigations going on. I don't know, it's hard to believe. It's it's things the past couple of days has is really entirely changed the crypto space forever. And this is by far the worst day ever in crypto. It you know, it, even though I'm making money, it doesn't really feel like a victory. It it, it feels kind of wrong at the same time to make money at a time like this. But I, I have to realize that regardless of you know whether I take the trade or not it's gonna happen right like my size is not size um, if anything I'm dealing with really small dollar amounts compared to what's really happening on a bigger scale here um, so you know me making these trades there's no influence at all <laughs> so um, I just kind of have to remind myself that because even though like I said even though I'm making a lot of money really easy money it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like I deserve it but like I said it's gonna happen regardless so might as well um, take advantage of this opportunity because at the end of the day I'm a trader and I'm here to make money guys uh, I don't want to make this video too long but let's look at my assets so far how much I have currently I'm sitting at 7.5 K um, and based if you guys haven't seen my last video go check it out but that's basically part one of this challenge um, you can see my total assets were sitting at about 4.6 K so uh, $2,900 profit so far uh, in the past two days or so, which is, you know, honestly pretty good. Uh, pretty good for me, at least. I wish I kind of had been dealing with more size because um, the, the returns I've been making have been incredible. Um, but nonetheless, we are closer to 10 k um, and I think uh, we're going to get there pretty soon, um, given the volatility of the market right now. So let's look at my trades going on um, I have a doge short here that I took profit on I was talking about this position in my last video um, I had a position from 0 0.142 up here and I carried it I knew it was a, a winning trade for sure so I, I carried it and I took profit um, about 0 0.10 right here um, which honestly looking at it now was obviously way too early i could have i could have made i probably could have hit 10k if i if i had carried it all the way through but uh let's be honest like i did not know all this was going to happen um this capitulation was going to happen because i don't know there was just not enough news uh for me to understand that the whole market is just going to keep going downwards right um, so I took profits because as a short-term trader, that's what you got to do. If you take profits, you don't lose, right? My next position after that was a Solana short. Now you can see I made $1,430 from that one. Um, and this one was really like, this one was so obvious to me. Mentioned that, you know, I just hope none of you guys are buying the dips on these. Like this is not the time to buy. And uh, I found a video on Twitter that really clicked and it's the scene from the movie uh, Margin Call with Kevin Spacey. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend you go watch it. Um, but I'm going to play it real quick um, because it really kind of speaks to what's going on right now. And he says here, uh, sole price action summarized in a video clip brought to you by Elementary Research, right? And so, you know, the reason, if you guys don't understand, Elementary Research owns about 10% of the token allocation in Solana. And so we all know Sam Bankman Fried has had, you know, incredible influence on Solana, which is a layer one blockchain. And <clears throat> he's just promoted it. He's promoted it heavily, right? Because FTX and Alameda are kind of like a joint venture um, in, in a way uh, because they're founded by, you know, the same, the same person. Um, 
in order for FTX to pay off their debts, they have to sell off their assets, right? And obviously they have a tremendous amount of Solana. And so what does that mean? Well, this is what it means. You see Solana being dumped and sold um, continuously, right? And unfortunately the people buying it are the retail traders. The no question is, who are we selling this to? Same people we've been selling it to for the last two years and whoever else will buy it. But John, if you do this, you will kill the market for years. It's over. And you're selling something that you know has no value. We are selling to willing buyers at the current fair market price so that we may survive. The question is... Wow. I mean, that scene is just incredible. It, it's, it's, it's so accurate to what's going on right now. And that is why I sort of shorted Solana at $23. Um, this was just a screenshot of my of my progress in the trade. I didn't close it out at 22.6 or anything. Um, actually, in fact, I closed it at like 16, I think, uh, because the fees were just climbing so high. I just had to sell it because any kind of reversal would have put me deep in the red um, because funding is just so, is so there's so little funding right now because um, no one wants to sell their Solana um, to short sellers. But anyways, <clears throat> um, that is why I shorted Solana at $23 because I just knew it was, to me, it was just so obvious. It was the most obvious trade of the decade, um, to short Solana. And I shorted it here from $23, um, aped in a lot. I think I put in 25% of my assets or my capital into this, into this short trade. And I sold it at about, uh, 17, I think, like 16 to 17 around there. Like I said, um, I, I closed it early because the fees were just climbing fast, like exponentially. Like I've never seen fees climb that fast. And obviously, you know, it has, it has to do with me being on KuCoin, which sometimes isn't the best platform to trade on. Okay. So I do have one current position and that is a doge short. Uh, I entered at 0.0820. So let's show you guys that. Um, yeah, it's crazy because I'm pretty much shorting. Like if you looked at this chart, it would look like I'm shorting the bottom, right? But I'm I'm telling you guys, this is not financial advice, but we have not seen the bottom yet. We have not seen peak capitulation. This has pretty much been a slow bleed. Um, and, you know, the fear is, is far from over, right? Um, and, you know, some might argue, well, you know, if everyone... Is thinking it's going to go down lower like wouldn't you you know be a contrarian and bet that you know that is the bottom well not necessarily um because things are not getting better things it just seems like each day going by it's just worse and worse right now if we start seeing good news come up right like maybe even the first sign of good news like a potential new buyer um a second runner up that might buy the ftx Okay, that's definitely some better news, but you know, we got CPI report coming out tomorrow. Um, I don't know. There's just, it's just I just have this gut feeling that we have not hit the bottom yet. And I mean, another another sign to me is that the valuation of some of these cryptocurrencies right now just don't make sense given the state of the economy, right? Uh, especially like something like Dogecoin, which is sitting at like I think like a 9 billion dollar market cap. It's sitting, see, like Dogecoin is sitting, like you have to look at these cryptocurrencies, look at the market cap and really ask yourself, does this valuation make sense? Does a $10 billion valuation right now, given the state of, you know, the world that we live in, does that make sense? Does a $10 billion valuation make sense? No. And in the past year, what has proven to be true? That cash is king right? Liquidity is just so important in moments like this. And that's why I just think there's much more downside to happen um, for Dogecoin. And I think a lot of these other cryptocurrencies as well. I, I, I'm just choosing Dogecoin just because it um, it's just something I know a lot about. And um, also looking at the Dogecoin Bitcoin um, pair, you can see there's a lot more downside to go. Now, obviously, Dogecoin looks like it's it's, you know, it's pretty much almost close to the bottom i don't think we are um like even if you look at the weekly charts um like like we, there's much more downside to go like we can i think we can at least see five cents i think 
Um, now, like I said, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm, I'm a speculative trader and this is what I do. But I think there's a lot more support levels that we can hit and we have not seen capitulation yet. And given the valuation at 10 billion, doesn't make sense to me. Um, maybe 5 billion, even 5 billion sounds like a lot and it doesn't make sense, but um, it sounds a lot, it makes a lot more sense than 10 billion and thus why I'm shorting it. Now, if you look at Doge, Doge Bitcoin, um, you can see like this incredible candle that appeared here. Yeah, we got more room to go down, guys. We got a lot more room to go down. So that's why I'm currently sh shorting Dogecoin once again. Um, like I said, entered at 0 0.0820 and expecting this baby to fall. Um, currently, I'm in the profit uh, about 41%. So pretty nice. And uh, I'm thinking about doubling down in my position. Um, as a trader, you know, if you're confident about your position, you should double down, right? You should add to your position. Even though I'm already in the green, I'm considering adding because the way I see it is we're still going down more. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be posting another video pretty soon, um, you know, and who knows what, what will happen in between then. Uh, all I can say is uh, protect your capital at all costs. Um, we could see more damages that we haven't seen yet, right? Um, because it's, it's very similar to what happened in 08, 09, where, you know, obviously we couldn't see what was happening behind the scenes, but we, we saw banks fall left and right. Right. And finally the fed came in and saved them. Uh, but in this case, you know, with FTX, um, no one's here to save them, right? The fed will let them, will let them, um, blow up like they are right now. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, um, but there's just a lot to say here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button. Let me know down in the comments below um, if you guys are trading this market because it's just been crazy. So um, with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.